Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I'm a senior consultant in the field of neuroanesthesiology. So I'm basically a doctor. And then this video is about why becoming a doctor is better than becoming an engineer in 2025. Okay, the main reason behind doing this video is the recent TCS layoffs of nearly 12,000 people. Okay, of employees from their company. And the reason that they quoted is it is skill mismatch. That is the skills of these 12,000 people are no longer needed for the company or for the future vision of the company. That is what they have quoted. So not only TCS, previously Microsoft has done that in future. So many companies would be doing that. Maybe I don't know. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to cover is there are certain advantages of becoming a doctor at this point, which I would like to enumerate. This video will mainly help uh, students of 12th standard who want to become a doctor or their parents in choosing the specialty. So let me tell you the first point is, the first advantage point for doctor is that with experience, with experience, I mean, uh, you know, if a doctor is for like 10 to 15 years or 20 years experience, his demand will increase in the market. And uh, because... Uh, for example, he will have more decision-making capacity, his skills would be better, the trust for the patient should be more, and he will have a lot of network and a lot of contacts, so a lot of referral system would be there for him, so his OPDs would be bigger. So over a period of time, doctor will mature and doctor's skills will get better, and then uh, he is more valued by the hospitals and people. Okay, but in the opposite happens to engineers. So engineers actually, when they become very, very seniors, they become cost to the organization. Okay, I'm not talking about every engineer, but this is what a, a, a corporate, uh, you know, company would think like. But for hospitals, it is more like they want very, very seniors who have good patient bases. Got it, no? So with experience, like wine, actually, the cost, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, value of the doctor becomes more as the experience increases. Okay, that is one important thing that sh you should know. Okay, so in a longer term, in a short term, engineers would earn more than doctors. I totally agree because the education period of doctors itself is more. But in the long run, if you see, being a doctor is more safer. Okay, that is the point that you have to note down. This is the first point. Second point will go. With the AI and all that coming, AI can replace a coder, but AI cannot replace a clinician. Reason, see, AI replacing doctors is a long term Hollywood fantasy I think it's good for a movie but in reality these GPTs and AI tools can only assist the doctors in diagnosis documentations and maybe some kind of discharge summaries it can do but the physical examinations emergency handling the surgeries the counseling the empathy the touch cannot be automated by AI so in a long run I feel AI cannot maybe in a distant maybe in a century it can replace but not in a very short term so using AI doctors will advance their uh, technologies advance their you know, decision making capacities and all that but uh, overall i don't see any threat for from ai for most of the specialties radiology pathology and all that are different but for most of the specialties it is very ne negligible next very important factor now what's happened third point is the geriatric population which is exploding globally okay by 2035 it is projected to reach 138 million globally okay so uh, countries like Mainly uh, countries like Japan, Germany, US, Australia face very, very severe doctor shortage in geriatric internal medicine palliative care. So by, you know, 10 years down the line, a lot of doctors would be required for all these developed countries and they would be ready to pay a lot of salaries for doctors. So what why I'm telling this point is the demand will actually increase is what I'm telling if you be in these fields. So that is the advantage of becoming a doctor in 2025. The fourth point is the insurance penetration. The health insurance market is growing at 20% CAGR. It is expected to hit 40 billion by 2030. So government schemes and private insurances are making people more affordable. So when people are more affordable, they'll come to hospitals. More doctors are needed. Okay, hospitals would hire more doctors when they're making more revenues. So that is another important point. So point number five is the healthcare infrastructure. So in the budget also, healthcare, uh, you know, in, I mean, the amount of money the government is spending on healthcare infra is increasing. The amount of money which is coming as by venture capitalists and a lot of firms and, uh, you know, a lot of foreign uh, investors are also showing interest in Indian healthcare. They are putting a lot of money into Indian healthcare. A lot of corporates are coming. All these hospitals want whom doctors and nurses so a lot of uh, you know job opportunities would come and uh, next point number uh, six so if you uh, 
actually point number 6 is not a favoring point it is more like if you focus on becoming best and uh, being a doctor is a recession proof thing okay little brand matters here for doctors okay but uh, now i have to tell the problems also i cannot finish the video without telling the problems i can't just tell that being a doctor is superior to becoming an engineer the problem is that over supply there is one, there are 1 lakh mbbs seats in india so more than 1 lakh actually and uh, around 50 to 70000 post graduates coming out because of that there would be some level of saturation but uh, i i feel there will be a patchy saturation for example metros would get saturated in some areas there will be some tire one saturation in some one specialty tire two saturation some, some like that patchy saturation would be there you you need to do the uh, research and find out which specialties are better i think if you follow my videos my videos i have done in this area about saturation and all that and then we can actually uh, we have to go into fields which are less saturated okay that is that's is one problem surely there in india and uh, public distrust and violence is there in india so lot of you know this people's expectations and the reality are you know there is a lot of mismatch there so we would be dealing some very critical situation of the patient and patients would be bothered about a very small thing that happens to the patient and there is a lot of mismatch that is i don't blame the patient party but mostly it is like ignorance about the healthcare thing and obviously i would be ignorant about coding and they would be ignorant about you know healthcare stuff this is not a problem and this will be a mismatch which is there in all nations you know developed under developed and all that so the solution for this is sitting with the reality patients and explaining them longer duration of counselings would be required but the problem in india is with the load that we deal that level of counselling is uh, very difficult to do but but that is a uh, uh, very problem the violence against doctors is there in india okay the main important problem i personally feel is there is a lack of entrepreneurship among the doctors they solely are based uh, like all my subscribers would only ask me sir what kind of job we get what is the salary what is, why don't you start your own clinic why don't you start your own platform why don't you start your own startup why like i'm not telling you to start from day one only do a job identify problems do some startups entrepreneurship is lacking i think among the doctors globally okay innovation is also lacking particularly in india see western countries like you know western countries china south korea innovate a lot they have lacks of patents being done by doctors but in india that very few patents actually done by doctors but things are getting better at least institutes they're doing i hope when private sector also does innovations things will drastically change and even the basic research skills also very 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 less in india so that even that part we need to improve okay central institute guys and uh, you know the, all the big uh, state government hospitals are doing but even the private sector should enter the research contribute and then help in uh, clinical uh, research then okay it will actually uh, progress the country's uh, healthcare is what i feel so to conclude what i feel is being a doctor is surely better in 2025 looking at all these kind of incidents like layoffs and all that but uh, you know uh, if you are an engineer and then if you are actually uh, you know a very intelligent person innovator and then you are actually on you are understanding what your company's vision is and your learning skills appropriately you will not have a problem even there but if you sit in one place you learn some kind of a old skill and if you still want to do with that then you might be stuck in a problem same thing applies to doctors also guys you will also stuck with the even you if you don't get updated if you don't understand where the market is going if you don't understand how the healthcare is actually progressing where the problems are lying if you don't go in that way even you will be in a problem. problem okay that is the uh, message i would like to give thank you for following the video okay if any engineer has watched till now see this is not to insult any engineer engineering societies or anything this is a kind of message i would give to my fellow uh, colleague doctors to actually excel in their careers okay and uh, and a 12th standard student or their parents if they're watching till now i think uh, you know you should uh, get your kid into medicine or if you're 12th standard person i think you should get into medicine we want passionate people uh, working in medicine and then the whole uh, uh, global healthcare changes okay so thank you very much thank you very much for following the video till now as usual dr dheeraj masapu logging off roger that bye